Howdy guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitarsenal. And today I'm gonna to show you a cool little thing that you can do with 13th extensions uh, for a wide variety of different styles of music, but I'm gonna to try to explain this in a way that hopefully will make sense to people that may not understand about 13th chords. Different extensions can be added into chords to give them a really cool kind of sound. And uh, my theory is sort of <laughs> spotty, so deal with me. Uh, bear with me a little bit on this, but basically extensions are really awesome and the 13th extension is a great one in blues music and jazz music. If I take a, this is an A7 chord, add the 13th and it'll really give it a wonderful sound. Now how is that the 13th? How, how do we arrive at that extension? How do we know that's a 13th um, extension? Well, we know because we're going to count the notes in the A major scale up through another octave, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's our thirteenth. We're going to add that in with our A7, making it an A7 thirteen, okay? We're adding that thirteenth in there. Now, you look at, you've got a what makes that a major chord is the fact that that third. If I flat the third, it's a minor. Right? So, with knowing the fact that we're dealing with a major third and we're adding the 13th, right? Well, what if instead of dealing with the root note being an A, a low A, what if we deal with the root note being a high A, which would make the chord sound like this. And again, we're getting, this is another triad. The chord sounds like this. It has a very swing, country, jazz kind of feel. And you're probably wondering, like, how in the heck can I make that work in a blues solo or whatever? I consider myself a blues guitarist. I enjoy playing blues. I like it. But sometimes you can add some really cool little things in there to give it a jazzy kind of sound to it. Uh, and 13ths are definitely a way you do that. Like you noticed earlier when I was playing that chord progression. That's sort of a gypsy style, you know, rumbling along kind of little progression there. But if I take a 13th, like I said, and I run this, that's a C sharp. That's an F sharp, yeah. And then we got the high A. So now what I'm doing, instead of worrying about this, I'm gonna demonstrate something. If I take this chord and I move it up in the pentatonics, like this. Now you're getting somewhere. But it sounds weird using the low register. So what you do is you use the high register. I'm giving away some secrets here. All right, but this is, in my opinion, it's just something that I do that I think gives it kind of a neat sound. So. Right. So see, you're, you're grabbing a 13th chord. A lot of blues players, they want to do this. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it doesn't sound good because I do it all the time too and I love the way it sounds. But what if I take and I go... That's great, wonderful. But what if I go... Now you're getting somewhere because you're getting that sort of. If I take the scale. Now I'm soloing with chords and you get that sort of, if you just treat the chord like a note and you move that up various positions 
you can get these kind of cool little jazzy things that you can add into your blues playing or really country playing, any type of playing. So the way I'm doing that, I mean, you see the, the, the shape of the chord. When I went down to that F sharp, there's that 13 again, peeking out its weird little ugly head, but there it is. So if I was here in A and I want to go, I can go, and it gives it a very, very different sound, but I'm still going. It's the same note. I'm just doing it in a higher register. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I know it's sort of, dare I say, an advanced sort of guitar technique, but it's something that I use a lot in my, my guitar playing that I find it to be very useful. Sometimes if a, if a solo is feeling a little lifeless, if, there's, if something's not going on, using those triads can really provide a lot of uh, air and space in, in the sound to give it this kind of vocal quality. If, um, if I drop the pick, all right, I don't want to say, let's just not run the pick and I'm just going to use my hands instead. I can change the way those little chords sound uh, just by treating them like a note, kind of like Wes Montgomery. I'm going to try to demonstrate that as best I can. I'm not Wes Montgomery, but here's the thing. If I take something like a little... Right, so what am I doing? I'm using those octaves. Do, instead of using octaves, let's use chords, right? So if I'm playing jazz, or uh, blues rather. If you look at my right hand technique, I'm going to pick a little closer up on top of the neck where you can hopefully see what I'm doing. Hopefully it'll respond the same to me. I'm literally treating those three notes as one note. And I'm, I'm following that root note. Gives it a very, very jazzy sound, right? So, um... Hopefully that'll point you guys in the right direction. Just follow those pentatonics. There's lots of things going on in those pentatonic scales and it doesn't always have to be just a note. It can be a triad. It can be a variety of different things. And those 13ths, in my opinion, just add a lot of luxury, <laughs> a lot of luxury to the blues, in my opinion. You're getting on some like kind of really cool chords that can really change the way that your, your phrasing occurs when you're playing too. If you record a piece where you're using jazz chords, flatted fifths, thirteens, which we'll get into flatted fifths and sharp fifths and all these other kind of random things, but when you get into those types of chords, you're, you're, you're forcing your ear to hear an extension of the scale that if I was just going, you know, So 
I'm literally treating those chords as one note, like I'm hitting it with my thumb and I'm just raking it across to get that kind of percussive slap sound. So you can use those 13s to really juice up the blues and give it some really cool movement in there. Also, don't neglect your 13s on the A string as well. So, oh, we were in A. So, where I like using 13s in the blues, when you get over into the four and five positions, say like you're in A right here. And you get into the four. A lot of you do it and you don't realize you're doing it. You're using a 13. That's a 13th chord. You're going. Or you're going. It's just 13s, guys. That's all it is. So see, like, you're going into five position in A. Hopefully that makes sense. It gives the blues kind of this big adult sound, if that makes sense. And if you use those 13 triads right, you'll get some really juicy things you can work with. Don't overuse it, um, but it is a really cool technique that, especially people that may not be jazz people, and you sit down on a blues jam, and you start breaking out some of those kind of crazy, you know, West Montgomery sounding kind of things. You're getting those nice little triads going on. It can really give your guitar playing a completely different spectrum and you'll impress people and they'll be like, oh, what is that? But really, if you understand the theory behind it, it's super, super, super simple. Remember, that root note is now on the high string when I play that 13th tri triad in that position. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. And remember, to find a 13, anywhere in, just count your way in. Start on the low string, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm adding that note in there right there. Well, if I'm playing that, and I'm adding in that high note, well, what is that high note? Does it belong there? Yeah, it does. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I'm adding a ninth in there as well. So I'm adding it like a natural ninth and a thirteenth. And it gives it just this nice, beautiful sound. If I play a normal seventh, that doesn't sound bad, you know? Or if I just play it. That's cool, but the thirteenths have their place. So anyway, hopefully that points you guys in the right direction. Hopefully you learned something. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. Um, we post every Monday and Friday. Let me know if this is the kind of stuff you want to see. Uh, I'm not a music wizard by any stretch of the imagination. All I can do is report what I see and some of the things that I've learned over the years. And 13th chords are something that I've integrated into my playing and I think they're very important for the blues and the jazz and really even for country. Um, you can get a lot of those just really pretty sounding passages with 13th chords uh, in country music as well. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.